Caleb Schofield, 39, died on March 28 at the F.E. Everett Turnpike Toll Plaza, according to the New Hampshire Union leader. The bassist for bands Cave-In and Old Man Gloom died almost instantly, as his vehicle crashed into the booth at high speeds. The truck hit so hard that it actually dislodged the large concrete barrier in front of the booth. After hitting the barrier, the truck continued to roll over. It burst into flames almost immediately. At least one witness tried to get to the vehicle to help Caleb, but it was too late. The truck had become fully engulfed with the person still in the vehicle, State Police Sergeant. Brian Trask said. It appears, Caleb was trying to change lanes right before, he, entered the toll plaza and didn't make the lane quite clear and crashed into the barrier. Sergeant. Trask said. They moved part of the concrete barrier right out of the toll plaza, I have never seen that happen. An autopsy, conducted on March 29, concluded that he died of smoke and heat inhalation, thermal injuries, and multiple blunt impact injuries, according to New England Cable News. He leaves behind a wife and two children, Sydney, 7, and Esmond, 10. Family and friends have started a fundraising campaign to help them. In addition to being an amazing dad and partner Caleb was an accomplished carpenter and musician with a career spanning two decades. His bands Caven and Old Man Gloom brought together many wonderful musicians, friends, fans and community. His loss will be felt far and wide, most deeply by his wife and children. Caleb joined the metal band Cave-In in 1998, according to Rolling Stone, after a revolving door of bassists. He saw the band rise to success, from their debut album, Until Your Heart Stops, on Hydra Head Records to their major label release, Antenna, in 2003. The band returned to Hydra Head afterwards, sticking to their underground roots. Caleb also joined Old Man Gloom, a supergroup of the Boston metal, sludge and metalcore scene. I'm not ready to talk about this yet, but I just wanted to say that Caleb will always be in my heart. ISIS drummer Aaron Harris, 40, said on Instagram. Converge drummer, Ben Collar, shared a similar heartbroken sentiment. Please give what you can if you have a minute. Ben wrote, Thanks everyone. We'd like to thank everyone for the kind words coming in. We will have countless words to say, and endless stories to tell in the future, but today we are just trying to keep it together, Old Man Gloom wrote on Facebook, sharing a link to the Caleb Schofield Memorial Fund. All I ask is that if Caleb has ever brought you a moment of joy, please follow this link and support his family.